The room requirement is a secret room in Hogwarts Castle that only appears when a student is in great need of it. In Hogwarts Legacy, what secret details will we find in the room requirement and how will we use it? Yo, this is your boy James over at Expecto Go, bringing you guys the latest and greatest in Hogwarts Legacy content. In the Hogwarts Legacy gameplay trailer, we're introduced to the room of requirement as it is being formed. To the right, we see our first secret detail, the entrance to the room itself, which based on canon should be on the seventh floor in the left corridor of the Hogwarts castle, only revealed and opened after walking past it three times while thinking about what one needs before entering the secret room. I think this would be an amazing cutscene, by the way. Also in the scene are two other characters, a professor who welcomes us. Welcome to the room of requirement. Who's actually the same professor who placed the sorting hat on our character earlier. No official name has been revealed, but names like Yopraxia Mole, who was the headmistress of Hogwarts around this time, have been thrown out there. The second character is a house elf named Deke, who I cannot wait to meet. Both Deke and the professor have the responsibility of guiding and helping us navigate the room of requirement. Some other cool details of note are the red banners, possibly Gryffindor, like the character's house in the scene, and a scale to weigh potion ingredients, plus a baby mandrake, not screaming, thankfully. In the next scene are even more secret details. Two windows or rooms located just up the stairs, hidden behind the branches to the left and right of the menagerie, both having the same light source, possibly looking out to what the menagerie leads to, or separate rooms entirely, with the left having a human-like figure in front, possibly knight's armor or another witch or wizard, could be a room where we work on our combat since we know we use the room of requirement to catch up to fellow fifth year students by upgrading gear, brewing potions, and much, much more. Speaking of rooms, there's another two secret rooms beside the previously mentioned windows or rooms. The one on the right emitting a white light source, having particles floating outside the room near that source of light with a rounded frame design. The one on the left also emitting a light source, but blue, with a green light and blue source at the top inside. Both rooms possibly having different ecosystems for various beasts like Newt's Commander Suitcase in the Fantastic Beast movies and like Hogwarts Mystery, or other rooms for different purposes like to practice our spells, maybe even a Patronus charm like Dumbledore's army in the Order of the Phoenix. In the middle is the clock, the same design as the one outside of Hogwarts, and front and center is the Vivarium, having the same design as the greenhouses seen and used in another Harry Potter title from Portkey Games, Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Some other notable secret details seen in the room of requirement are the flying book, a Niffler statue, the floating candles in the top right, to the confirmed Gryffindor banners underneath, flanking a desk. A tower image featuring the same tower we see outside our hut, the hopping cauldron, which is referenced in the Book of Potions, floating lanterns, the same ones we see when Harry takes Luna as a date in the Half-Blood Prince, and of course, Iron Maidens from Borgen and Burks, and a possible Big secret detail being a portrait looking like our character surrounded by family. Yo, is it? With all these secret details, you start seeing how we can use the room of requirement, customization and upgrading. This customization example is expanded upon with the options shown for a T-shaped potion station, revealing the various styles we have. We even see the controls for moving, rotating, and placing this station in the room. You even see it with the cottage where the narrator says, you can freely customize this space to reflect your personality and magical specialties. Since we can make the room of requirement our own, you see other stations you can customize and add to the room. Ingredient stations to plant and grow ingredients, the fertilizer to fertilize the ingredients, and of course, the wardrobe station shown earlier in the trailer, allowing us to customize and upgrade our gear, appearances, and even 
traits. The potion station, wardrobe station, fertilizer station, and planting station allows you to make the roof requirement truly your own while helping you progress in your fifth year training. Now, there's limits on this ability to customize stations based on the amount of currency and budget. Currency, which is Moonstone in the room of requirement, allows us to grind in game without the need of microtransactions. Another limiter would be your budget as based on your room of requirement mission progress, which could be rescuing certain animals to be placed in the menagerie, finding specific and rare ingredients for potions, and even collecting a number of materials to upgrade your gear. You can even improve your room requirement abilities using your talent points on your talent tree. Your room requirement abilities could be your overall ability to upgrade gear, potions, ingredients, and care for fantastic beasts in general. With so many secret details in the room of requirement and the ability to customize and upgrade the room, I feel like we're just scratching the surface of how important and useful the room of requirement will be for our Hogwarts Legacy gameplay. I'm looking forward to exploring and finding the secrets that the room of requirement has to offer. But yo, that is going to be it. That is going to be it in regards to the secrets of the room for requirement in Hogwarts Legacy. What do you guys think? What did I miss? What are some of the things you are looking forward to when using the room for requirement during your gameplay? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk some Hogwarts Legacy. But yo, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and hanging out with your boy. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to Lumos the subscribe button and notification bell so you miss out on more Hogwarts Legacy content. Also, follow us on our various forms of social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Discord. There you can hang out with us and other community members and talk all things Hogwarts Legacy. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you in the next video. Until 